All right, folks, a little earlier tonight, and I'm shooting this just before midnight, so you, it'll be yesterday. Uh, if you didn't see the live stream, I did the live stream last night. Yeah, they, there was only one person there, Serrano Butler showed up. Um, there was one other person, but that was me. I had logged into my account. We'll get to all those details and why I did this right after the intro. Let's do that now. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com, as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer and I'm only paying $4 and 50 cents a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. All right, folks, I'm back. And, of course, we had to have the TubeBuddy ad in there because uh, right now we don't have enough subscribers to make even a single dollar, and we're still at $0 budget. But just like, by way of explanation why I did that whole live stream tonight, uh, I tried the other night you know, turning the phone into a webcam and going through OBS. And I wasted two, two and a half hours on that. It was just a complete waste of my time. It just didn't work right. Problem, it might have been the camera app I had that, you know, should have worked better. But whatever it was, it was just way too complicated. And so I said, well... Why can't we just stream straight from the phone? And so I downloaded Streamlabs. Just go to Google Play if you want to try out streaming and download. Just type in Streamlabs and you'll find the app. It doesn't get that high ratings like 3.8, 3.9. I think it's pretty good. Uh, you're kind of stuck with the watermark unless you want to pay a lot of extra money. And right now, with the number of subscribers we have and the number of people who showed up, yeah. Now you can set up an event, I think. It's got a button for that. When you go to set up your stream, rather than going straight to YouTube, you know, it, maybe you're going to schedule it at a certain time, which would be really well and good if, well, you arrived on time. So this was a learning experience because if you've ever read my About page, it's all about, and you're not going to see that on your dinky-ass smartphone usually. You're going to have to go to a real computer or a real monitor, you know, something from large screen. And that way you can see... Uh, what I'm talking about, uh, go to the about page. And we figure out ways to do things and save you money, stuff that gets the job done. And just a good cell phone with a good microphone that shoots at least at 720p in the front, you're good to go. I mean, I could shoot at 1080p, I think 60 frames a second on the front on this. But, no, we're not going to do that. It might be 30 frames on the front. I know I could shoot at 60 on the back. So, all that being said, that's why we did that video. 
I wouldn't recommend watching the whole thing myself. Uh, I will link it at the end in one of those little things, and and you can kind of wade your way through it. What I did was I logged in a second time to a different account on my monitor, which is pretty much directly behind uh, the camera here. Uh oh. Good boy. Tim hit something wrong. Whoops. I don't know what I hit, but it was not a good thing. Uh, so, you got to learn something new every day. You can stream, get Streamlabs, and if you want to start streaming, you know, you can tell people. Maybe you have 5,000 Twitter followers. I have 60. Yeah, I can't really get the word out there to a lot of people. I do have Messenger, and I can send people stuff, or I can put a schedule up. But, you know, there's always the usual people who go, I didn't get your notification. Yeah, that's an excuse, folks. It either means you have a crap cell phone provider, or you don't have Wi-Fi. You know, excuses are sort of like a certain part of the anatomy. We all have one and they all stink. Uh, you either got one or you didn't. Uh, because I signed in as myself on the monitor. And uh, guess what? Yeah. Seven seconds after I went live, I got a notification on that. other log into YouTube and I went over to live stream and there it was I didn't say anything for most of the video you'll notice if you do watch the whole thing God knows why you would uh, you'll notice at some point my name pops up and there I am and I, we were, uh, Serrano and I were talking about the Alcatel, and, you know, it, it having issues. <coughs> and, but I had typed stuff in. Uh, well, I did. Uh, I had mentioned the fact that lately, or the Artec, not the Alcatel, was having issues connecting to my Bluetooth. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And I was having to remove it. And that happened ever since the last Windows update, some kind of patch or security update or something. It wasn't the, you know, whatever they call their antivirus update. This was... After the last Windows update, which, you know, it took the usual way too long to install. Thanks, Microsoft, for screwing things up beyond belief. And all of a sudden, you know, my Artec decides And so what I have to do occasionally is kill it in Windows, you know, in Bluetooth, and then hit the connect button or the pairing button repair it and hit connect and poof it works and it works the rest of the night like a champ so I don't know what the deal there is it's not the keyboard it's windows so but the bottom line here the whole point was to show you you could do this with a decent phone decent microphone Save yourself some money. Save yourself the complexity. Don't run out by a camera just to do streaming or a webcam. Plug it into your PC and all that crap. You don't need that. As long as you got a good phone with a decent microphone. And that's all I got for tonight. We'll catch you tomorrow with, uh, I don't know, something. I'll figure out something. Thanks for watching.
catch you in the next one.